Hey guys, what's up? We're back. I've got Eric Chang here, who is the director of photography at yes. Lytro. Um, so I, I'm a huge Lytro fan. Uh, I'm not even good at photography. <laughs> they won't. In fact, they told me not to bring a camera here because I can't take pictures and it's just a waste of my space. But I love my Lytro. I brought it. Um, so why don't you tell people who not, aren't quite sure what Lytro is, what, what you guys are doing here? Okay. Uh, well, this is the world's first light field camera. It's a totally different kind of camera than cameras that have existed until now. So this camera takes pictures that are fully interactive, meaning that you can refocus them after the fact. You can also change the perspective. This is something that we shipped uh, just, uh, just last month. So change the perspective. Go back to that moment and move the camera around left, right, up, and down. So it takes these um, really rich pictures um, with a special sensor and a lot of computational software. Right. So, it, it, I mean, the company really is kind of a software company with a really awesome piece of hardware. Would you, is that kind of a fair way to put it? Yeah, it, we've, it feels like a software company. I mean, we're in Silicon Valley. We have a software company kind of ethos. We roll out software updates that fundamentally change the pictures that you're taking. Um, but we have this hardware piece that is, um, of course, required to capture these light field pictures. Absolutely. So we talked about kind of uh, changing the focus and perspective shift, but can you tell me just anything about what the other capabilities are? Because I know that with just this one camera, you know, we were all kind of blown away by what you did with, with just being able to change focus, and no one even expected perspective shift. It was like, this is cool enough. Um, and just seeing that happen, it's like almost proof, like what this company has in store is going to be huge. Can you give us some kind of idea of kind of where you can go with this kind of technology? Because no, none of us even know what it is. It's brand new. So what, what are the possibilities? Well, the possibilities are really interesting for us as well because it is, it is all brand new. And we have a, a research lab basically inside the company that works on these new things. Um, but if you imagine that every frame you take with this camera has very rich 3D information behind it, which it does. Um, that is what you should use to base, you know, these, uh, you know, all, all, all the imagination comes from there. I mean, perspective shift is essentially a way to look at the 3D information we are capturing without requiring a stereo TV. And so if you go even further down there, think computationally, um, you can do things like tilt shift or um, imagine, um, you know, taking a lot of these pictures in a row, it's fully compatible with video in the longer term. Um, and of course, as computers get faster and storage gets bigger, we'll be able to do much more interesting things with uh, the data that we're capturing. So this is kind of, I mean, you guys have grown to be pretty popular and very kind of well-known and household name in terms of just tech fans and tech enthusiasts. Are you, is there any concern whatsoever that your competitors, the big guys in the, in the photography industry, Canon and Nikon, that they might try to tap into what you have going on? Are there patents that protect you? I mean, what's the deal with that? Well, we do have a lot of patents, and we're aggressively applying for as many as we can. Um, but the more attention that the big guys play to us, um, the happier we are, because it validates the camera as a category and, and not just a light field camera. And so we're really excited to change imaging fundamentally in, you know, in any field that uses a, a digital sensor. Um, and so all of that news, and there hasn't that been that much of it yet, um, is, is great for us. Awesome. Um, so I know I just called you a software company, and I really do believe that that is kind of the, uh, obviously the, the hardware piece is so important, but the software is where things can really change and evolve. But I mean, you have to tell me what it's like to be a, a hardware company that is in a, as a camera company, you really are in a very crowded and very well-known field with these major players. Um, and I know that manufacturing and dis distributing hardware can be really taxing on a startup. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing to kind of expand distribution and how you're streamlining manufacturing and, and just what it's like to be a hardware player um, in, a, in, a, in a really big ocean? Yeah, it has been uh, resource intensive to do everything from manufacturing to kind of mobile web. Um, but uh, what we're doing is trying to move deliberately. And so uh, we opened up distribution internationally and to some other vendors um, uh, in the US online and uh, our first brick and mortar store. Um, but we're moving slowly. So we opened up in four countries, for five countries first. Um, and so instead of trying to take on too much, um, you know, we're handling as much as we can at this time. 
So you know better than I do. I mean, all the Lytro pictures are pretty much easily accessible. Once the user kind of uploads them, they come up and they're, they're embeddable on the web. You can share them on Facebook and they have all of the same features. But I'm sure that you see a lot more of people's Lytro pictures than I do. What are, what are some of the coolest uh, you know, pictures and uses that you've seen um, with the Lytro camera? Um, we see a lot of really interesting things. Um, we, any picture that's marked public uh, we essentially can see. We don't go digging around, of course. Uh, <laughs> but people, actually, our owners come and post them on our Facebook page, uh, which is fantastic. So we see all sorts of interesting pictures. I think the, the funniest story is that our, um, uh, one of our employees went to the dentist, and her dentist pulled out a Lytro camera and took a picture of her mouth. He stuck a mirror in her mouth, and he took a picture. Wow. And that was the only way for him to just take one shot and be able to have everything in focus. And so, and he didn't know that she worked there, and so it was this funny moment, and wow. now we have the picture because we think it's <laughs> hilarious. So. That is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so, I guess, I'm, I'm wondering, you guys have a few different colors out. You guys are really, obviously, expanding distribution. Walmart, right? Target. Target, City Target. Target. I'm sorry, Target. Um, and you added manual controls recently, and I think that's kind of a big deal because Elytra is really easy to use. You essentially just point it and you click and, mm -hmm. and that's it. But for the, the real photography buffs, they want something that, you know, they have a little bit more control over. And you, I know you launched manual controls. Have you seen any spike in, in sales or uh, some interesting usage after that, that update? Because I know it was a big one for you guys. We saw a, a big spike in sharing. So a lot of our camera owners, uh, especially the, the more accomplished photographers, went back because they were waiting for manual controls and a tripod mount. Um, and they started to do some more interesting shots, you know, deliberate shots, where they had staged something with, with a lot of depth. You know, people were taking pictures of frozen drops of water, you know, with colors, and then using perspective shift so that you could see the three-dimensional nature of the scene. Um, and so that was fantastic. And, you know, one thing that we want to emphasize is that, you know, we call our pictures living pictures. But in a sense, this is really living hardware as well. I mean, the same camera that people purchased on day one is being unlocked with more features in the light field, like perspective shift. And with each, with each one of those, we see more interesting usage, more uploading and sharing. Uh, so it's really great for us to, you know, to, to be able to react to what people are, are asking for. Awesome. So uh, you've been on the show floor, right? You've been wa walking around and you've been bit. having fun. Is there anything that you're really, really excited about here at CES? Um, I haven't actually seen that much, but it, it feels like, uh, uh, I mean, I've been really excited about photography going computational um, and being totally pervasive. I mean, there's a little action cam everywhere you look, and, um, and everybody's taking pictures of everything. And so I, I'm really excited by that because, you know, each one of those pictures means something to the person who took it, but, you know, they share some small percentage, and it, it lets us see this little moment of beauty in their lives. And so, you know, just the the proliferation of, of cameras and, and sharing has been really fantastic. So I hear that there are actually, here at CES, the, the um, attendance has stayed about the same. We're at 150,000 people, but I hear that there are a lot more buyers. Are you guys in any big talks? You want to share some news with me at all? <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, we are, we are in many talks, but we don't have anything public to share. Although we did have a guy who uh, came up to our meeting room today because he thought there was something to see and he just walked right in. <laughs> so I think He's he like, was, this is the booth, right? Yeah, it's the booth. He was trying to get the same information you're trying to get out of me right now. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, well, I really appreciate you taking this time to talk with me. Thanks. Uh, I'm enjoying it as well. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, in a minute, we are going to go to John Biggs with Indiegogo. He's going to do a quick interview, and then we're going to be back to do some uh, giveaways. But actually, let's give away a Lytro camera. Do you want to do yeah, that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. So um, what you're going to need to do is tweet, I want a Lytro, to the <laughs> hashtag CESCrunch. And we have people monitoring right now, so we will let you know if you've won. You can do it more than one time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to win or anything. So, uh, yeah, these are really cool. And what's the retail value of this? Uh, the retail value is three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. So it's a steal for free. Uh, yes, it uh, is. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate Great. it. Thank you. All right. We'll be back in just a minute. Thanks, guys.